So Rick Joyner, you took a mess. And even the mess is a message. You used to tell me something. You used to tell me that I was, I always say I'm not a prophet, but you said you are a prophetic word. You remember ever saying that? Why do you say that? Well, I think some people, they are more of the prophetic message than just words they could give. Uh-huh. I think your life, you really mirrored many things that were going on in the body of Christ. And uh, I also believe that more than the buildings, these buildings, and listen, what Bill did to restore this was remarkable because we ran to a block restoring this. We were told it couldn't be done because the mold Over and this upper room, yeah. prophecies from the government said, you will never use this building again. Mm-hmm. Black mold, like sin, had covered the place. Black mold. You could never open it. It is too far gone. It's like the song, The Old Lighthouse. Bob and Jeannie Johnson here. Remember the lighthouse? People don't go there anymore. Let's tear it down. But a dumb bad boy right there, Russell James. I love Russell. He's my friend, so don't say I'm, I'm mocking him. The bad boy says, no, they're not going to tear it down. We're going to restore it. And here we are, back. After 25 years, the mold's gone. And God's people have gathered here in the upper room, and it's having services almost every day now. But what you did, you restored that building. It's not buildings, but this happens to be a God building that I'm sitting. I mean, this was, what was, this was given to God, and no man has a right to take it away. And the man who started me in the ministry, his body lays out there. At one point, they were actually starting to tear it down. They didn't know how to move a dead body. It was a lot of permits to move a dead body. Mm-hmm. And my Russell, uh, Russell, what's his name? Aubrey Sarah. Sarah. Aubrey Sarah's body laying out there. Said, Go visit his grave. He's the man who saw something in me when I was a kid. I preached my first revival. He, I didn't have a car. He drove me around mm-hmm. to the revivals. He got me ordained uh, in the ministry. And he's laying the, when he died, he was assigned on a sheet to be in this upper room as he was the pastor of this upper room. Wow. And here his body lay in state. God's people have more power when they're dead even. When <laughs> That's good. But I, I had the privilege yesterday of, of teaching two-hour class. I love two-hour classes mm. in your college. That building that was burnt, that building that was horrible, that building that you saw. In fact, I, I actually prophesied to you, which is sort of crazy, but I said, God wants you to have Heritage USA. I knew it. I prayed. This isn't mine. I may never come back here again. I, I, I have no plans to come back. It's not my ministry. There's other people here. Rick is shepherding the, his man. But there's, there's ministries all over these grounds. They're tucked in here and there. I think in your building you have more than your ministry even. Yeah, we've got a number of ministries. And, and that's what, you know, Russell took this part. We, we couldn't do this. We had our hands full. And we ran to that mold block. We just said, yeah. you know, well, we can't We've had do- a different plan. When you yeah. run into something that says stop, something else is going to happen then. Yeah, and the hills took part over here in that barn. The, Dale the, Hill's got yeah. the big barn and the studio, all amazing. We'll be there tomorrow. Yeah, and even our part, we had so many churches that got behind us and sponsored rooms and, you know, prayer groups and everything. It, 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 was, it takes the body of Christ to restore. Yes, it does. But the, what you was know. to be the lobby is now packed month after month, jammed, singing, shouting all yeah. night long. Prophets from over the world, ministries from all over the world. All these things are coming in there. And now this amazing college, you're raising up the young that are going to take the world. Yeah, that is the goal. (laughs) That is the goal. So it's what's in the building that counts. Yeah. The buildings are important. They're a symbol. They're a sign of God's power of redemption and Mm -hmm. restoration, I Mm -hmm. believe. And, uh, but more important than that are people. Right. Any one of his person is more important than all the buildings yeah. combined. But the buildings are important. I mean, these are, you know, these were purchased. They were made sacred by 
by the gifts that purchased them, that built them, that restored them. And, you know, uh, a, a friend of ours, who John Dawson, once said, when we were able to purchase, what, a $50 million, what you'd spent about $50 million building for $1.6 million. Yeah, that building, that yeah. single building was $60 million. $60 million. We buy it for 1.6. Now, it takes a lot to restore, mm -hmm. but I thought John Dawson had a real good insight. You got that so cheap because God's people were not going to have to pay for that twice. Again. Right. Twice. So anybody you gave to the <laughs> yeah. lifetime partner, you gave to any, yeah. it's being utilized as much as ever on earth. It's all being restored. John Hagee did one of the first meetings in the barn a few weeks ago. I mean, these facilities are yeah. being used because... Bad boys like Russell James, Dale Hill came to me when he was 15 years old. These are the real fathers of television that most people have never heard of. And the grandfather is right here, the man who was the first, sitting in this very room. They're being restored. 